The new moon on June the 17th brings with it an inner jolt of excitement and upliftment, really helping you move forward on your life. So when I tune into this energy of the new moon, I really felt that jolting feeling. And in this video today, I want to share with you the five key things that I think you should know about this particular new moon so you too can really make the most out of this, really that inner excitement that is now really bubbling to the surface, really helping you then leap forward, move forward, and, and really create that life that you are really meant to live, that you're destined to live, that your soul is aching to live. So the first thing I would like for you to know is that with this new moon on the 17th, you will feel that inner excitement. You will feel those immense inner shifts taking place. Like you will even maybe feel that something is happening within you. You may not even feel that something is being ignited and activated within you. Now, maybe you're not quite sure what it is. You may actually feel somewhat of a buzzing kind of sensation. Like as I tune in, as I just mentioned, as I tune into the energy of this new moon and I was writing the, the outline for this video, I could feel somewhat of that jolting feeling. Like I could feel it within my energetic field that something is happening. So you may feel that too on or around the new moon. You will feel somewhat of that energetic um, jolting in a way. Like you may feel it within you or in your energetic field. And this is like you're really being activated. Think of it like that. You're putting your finger into kind of like the outlet. You're kind of like getting shocked. That's kind of like the feeling. You're getting that activation, that, that inner jolt to really move forward. And this, this jolt is meant to help you wake up. It's like to sit up and pay attention, listen. This is really what I'm getting here with this energy. It's like you're being jolted to kind of wake up, to sit up, to really pay attention what is going on. You may also even receive some insights as well, but just know that this new moon energy will really jolt you, will really activate you and shift you. You will feel those inner shifts taking place, even though you may not quite sure what it is or how, you know, put your finger on what exactly is going on. Just know that this energy is truly to your highest and greatest good to help you pay attention, to sit up, to really get into attention, to get the insights that you need to move forward. Because then the second thing I want you to know is that your life will also accelerate. This energy is really forward moving. I mean, this is powerful. This energy is absolutely intense and powerful in a good way though. Intense in a good way. So I don't want you to think that, oh my God, I'm being shocked here. No, it's just, it's really helping you on an energetic level. It's activating you on an energetic level. And here I want to invite you to check out a video about your expanding your nervous system because what can happen is with all the energetics that are going on right now, I mean, there's so much that happened this year with the eclipses and the retrograde and all these shifts and all the stuff that has happened. And and now with this, this, this inner jolt, you're really being activated. You're really being, uh, you know, kicked into motion, so to speak. It could be uh, your, your nervous system, your energetic nervous system could go into overdrive, which could, meaning it's being activated and could cause you to feel afraid and feel challenged and feel overwhelmed with what's going on. Because your life, you will notice that your life is, is changing. Your life is speeding up. Your life is accelerating and that can cause an overdrive in your nervous system. So there's a video in the description below. It's a light language activation to help you expand your energetic nervous system. Because in order to move forward, well, your life is going to elevate. Your things are going to change. Your life is speeding up. So many things are shifting and changing and it can be too much for your energetic nervous system. And you don't want to feel overwhelmed or stressed out by the things that are shifting. And even internally, you're noticing that you're shifting too. That can also be too much for your ego where you may then go into fear mode. You're like, oh, oh no, nope, not doing that. I'm holding back. Nope, not doing that. And the nervous system expansion activation that the link is in the description below will assist you in just calming down your nervous system so you can allow this to happen so you can allow yourself to move forward. So definitely check that out. If you're feeling very activated and, and then the activation here, what I mean is like you're feeling very stressed or on edge, you're feeling somewhat uncomfortable with the energy that is at hand right now. Definitely check out that video so it can calm down your nervous system because that's really what it is. Your, your nervous system is being activated. But just know that what is happening with this new moon, it is to your highest and greatest good. And you want to like any discomfort, just breathe through it. But the second thing here that I want you to know is that your life now really speeds up. 
where maybe before you kind of felt slowed down, you know, maybe you haven't really gotten that kick yet, you know, after Mercury had gone straight again last month, maybe you felt still a little slowed down, maybe there were certain areas in your life that you felt like it wouldn't budge or you felt like you couldn't really move forward. Well, now just think of it like that, you are getting that energetic push internally and externally on a cosmic level to really move forward to really forge ahead. But like I said, definitely check out that video if you're feeling challenged with this energy. Then the third thing I want you to know is that ideas are now also flooding in where you're really getting those downloads, those insights, the ideas, the, the visions also may increase, like visions of what is truly possible for you, what you're meant to be doing. Maybe you're getting insights into something that you're meant to create, something you're meant to start, something you're meant to be doing. And all of those ideas are coming in. They are meant to really elevate your life. They're meant to really help you align to your soul's highest path, your soul's highest template, because that's what this year is all about. All the stuff we had to experience and had to go through this year was to our highest and greatest good, because the theme for this year is really to step into our soul's highest path, to align ourselves to our soul. And well, a lot had to happen for us to get to that, unfortunately, right? But just know that those ideas that you have coming in here, you may even want to have some more of a dedicated notebook handy, or maybe have like something on your phone where you can just write down your ideas because the ideas will come when you most likely are not prepared for it. So if you have like a little notebook with you, wherever you go, or maybe at your nightstand, you know, if you're getting ideas at night or wherever you go, have a way to write down your ideas. And here I want to just mention something. Don't just say, oh, I'm going to write them down later. I'll get to it later. No, you want to write them down. You want to then also tune in. Okay, is this something you feel called to do right now? Because what I'm getting here is you may be getting a whole lot of ideas. And that's like an overflow, an abundance of ideas to, for you to choose from because you do have free will, right? So write down all of your ideas and then you may want to tune in one by one. Like, okay, which of those ideas do I feel most drawn to, most in alignment with? Now, it doesn't mean you have to act on all the ideas. I mean, your guys, the universe, you know, your soul is giving you plenty of ideas to choose from. And then it's up to you, you know, you as the human being with free will, you get to choose which of those ideas you want to act on. Now, it doesn't mean that you can then disregard all the other ones. You may want to keep that list handy because as you're acting on your ideas, then and then you're looking back over your list of ideas, maybe in a month or two or three months down the road, and like, hey, I actually like doing this now. And if it still feels in resonance, go for it, right? But all of those ideas that you're getting, and there will be an influx of those ideas, those visions, they are truly meant to help you on your path of what you are meant to be doing moving forward. So write them down, open, well, okay, first open yourself up to them, then write them down, and then act on those that really feel most in alignment to you. And then your your questions, the questions you've had for, for some twi time, they may also receive an answer to that because insights are coming in. So here, the, the invitation is really pay attention. Maybe take some time away each and every day to really tune in, to really open yourself up. Maybe even ask those questions that you have and uh, open yourself up to the insights, the guidance, the, the downloads, the, the messages, messages and like I said, also even the answers, but pay attention because that is really what is available for you right now. Then the fourth thing, and here that is maybe something that you're starting to noticing that maybe you're starting to notice that you're taking greater leaps. Maybe you're feeling more empowered, more courageous. Maybe you feel like, okay, like you're sitting up a little taller. You feel a little taller as well. You feel a little bit more filled out from within. You feel more empowered and those type of things. And that's also because of this energy that that inner jolt is waking that part up within you. That empowered version of you is being kind of jolted into attention. Like, hey, sit up, right? And here the invitation is really embrace this, embrace this feeling because it will help you move forward. Now, and I've mentioned it before and, and I want to mention it again because fear may come up. Like that's what I mentioned earlier. Definitely check out that video about that nervous system expansion because fear will always come up. Whenever you're having these ideas, whenever you're feeling courageous and trying to move forward, taking those leaps, your ego is going to be in fear more like, what is going on? Uh-uh, time out. No, can't do that. And here I want to invite you embrace that feeling of courageousness, of, of, of empowerment, and use the excitement and that feeling as a driving force to move forward and never your fears. Do never give power to your fears and say, well, you know, it's a great idea. I feel really excited about it, but nah, I don't 
think I'm ready for that. Eh? Because then you're basically shrinking down again. And this energy right now with this new moon is nothing about shrinking down. It's about sitting up. It's about moving forward. It's about sh about shifting into gear. It's about really being courageous, taking those leaps forward. Like I said, I'm going to say it again. Check out that video, the activation for the nervous system expansion, because that is what is going to help you make it through these energetic shifts that are really available right now. I Maybe mean, just talking about this energy right now, I can feel it already building up within me. So this energy is definitely powerful. So make the most out of it. Allow it. Embrace what it really brings up within you. And then the fifth thing I want you to know is that you may not actually feel called to do some sort of a life overhaul where you look at, where you feel guided to look at each area of your life to see what is out of alignment, what is outdated, what no longer fits and feels in alignment. And then you may really feel called to just do some sort of a, I, don't, I mean, it's not just spring cleaning no more. It's more like almost summer cleaning. I mean, it's still kind of spring, right? But, you know, you may feel like you want to just liberate yourself of all the things that no longer fit in your life. This could be just actual things in your life. It could be situations. It could be people. It could be habits. It could be beliefs. It could be even dreams that you've had up until this point that simply don't feel in alignment anymore. Right? It could be strategies that you have been doing up until this point. You feel like they're kind of old and stale. Perfectly fine. Let it go. That's the invitation right now is let go of all the things that are simply that feel stale, that feel kind of flat, that don't excite you no more, that just don't feel they are in that fit anymore in your life. Allow yourself to really up level each area of your life, wherever you feel called to create some more of an up level, allow yourself to do it because it's all happening to your highest and greatest good. It will all help you to move in greater alignment with your soul, your highest path, your soul's path, and what you're here to do. So allow it, embrace it, because this is be truly a beautiful energy that is available to you right now. So open yourself up to it. So these are the five key things. I really hope you enjoyed this video so far. If you did, do me a favor, hit the like button. Maybe leave me a comment below and let me know, are you feeling that that jolty kind of feeling, that, that prickly kind of feeling? Do you feel it in your energy field already? I would love to know. Leave me a, a comment below. But now let me share with you how you can really make the most out of this energy that is at hand right now. First of all, embrace it. Embrace this energetic push. Let it really move you forward. Move on those ideas, those inspirations, the, the, the guidance that you're receiving. Really move on that. The ones that feel most in resonance, that you feel most in resonance with. Move on those. Take action on those. Use the energetic support that you're being given right now with this new moon to really move ahead. And definitely check out that video about that nervous system expansion because it will help you with this, this all these energies that are really at hand right now. Now, this nervous system expansion uh, activation, you can actually save it to your watch later list because it will help you, and not just with the energy right now. Anytime you're trying to do something that feels a little scary, that, that causes you to feel something, whether it's immense excitement or, or even fear or whatnot, you want to calm down your nervous system so you can really move forward. So you can listen to that more often whenever you need that nervous system attunement because that will then help you in so many different ways. And if all this is a little challenging for you and you're really feeling a little pushed, I want to invite you. You can always reach out to me, request a discovery session where we can talk a little bit more about what's going on. I would love to support you on your journey of what's really you know available to you if that is of interest to you. So there's a link in the description below, or you can go to ksanders.com forward slash apply and book a session with me. I would be honored to assist you. Okay. So thank you so much for being here. I'm so grateful that you're here. I really hope you have a wonderful new moon. Make the most out of this. Like I said, check out this video here about the nervous system expansion, and I look forward to seeing you again in the next video. Until then, make an amazingly abundant and successful day. Namaste.